This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Natasha Belling. Good evening. First tonight, the humanitarian crisis unfolding on Manus Island is no closer to ending after Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull refused an offer of help from one of our country's closest allies. New Zealand's new leader, Jacinda Ardern, reissued an offer to resettle 150 people across the Tasman during a quick visit to Sydney today. Jonathan Lee has more. A warm arrival for two Prime Ministers meeting for the first time face to face. The view from Kirribilli over a wet Sydney harbour helping break the ice. Well, if we had time, I'd eat your kaika. Oh, not, not a particularly good one. Before Jacinda Ardern had her first meeting with a foreign leader. Come and have a, a chat now. A 30 minute one on one behind closed doors. We've, we've had a great meeting, a great discussion. But apparently, no mention of the awkward comments by Foreign Minister Julie Bishop over allegations members of New Zealand's Labor sought to undermine the Turnbull government by helping out Barnaby Joyce as a dual citizen. A drama that's now extended to eight MPs, possibly nine, with questions surrounding Liberal Alex Hawke. No, they weren't raised, and I think that speaks to the strength of the relationship. Our PM keen to change the topic. You've got a great experience as being a DJ, haven't you? (laughs) This did not come up during talk. No, this did not come up. (laughs) Amongst issues discussed, North Korea, terrorism, trade and refugees. Jacinda Ardern repeating an offer that dates back to the Gillard government. Uh, Yes, I did renew again New Zealand's offer to take uh, 150 refugees from both, uh, from Manus and Nauru. Malcolm Turnbull's eyes saying it all. We appreciate, as I said, the offer that has been made uh, and has been restated. But again rejected. On Tuesday, around 600 asylum seekers barricaded themselves inside their former detention centre on Manus Island. Australia hopes the bulk will eventually be accepted in a refugee swap with America. Still, New Zealand's new leader made her point repeatedly. And New Zealand holds an obligation generally uh, to make sure that we uh, maintain our obligations to the United Nations. Happy to stray into Australian politics. There is a human face uh, to this situation and of course uh, we want to see resolution. It is so important that we bring them here and allow them to make a contribution and our neighbours across the ditch are showing us up. Malcolm Turnbull adamant a tough stance is the right stance. Jonathan Lee, 10 Eyewitness News.